In the aftermath of the earthquake in Haiti three years ago, emergency officials around the world have highlighted the need for quicker response times. A local software company has answered that call, creating a program that speeds up the process, quickly compiling information not only from authorities, but from civilians using social media. Darlene Heidemann explains. When major disasters strike, getting to survivors is key, and knowing where they are is crucial. After an emergency event, right, there's a tremendous amount of chaos. And the quicker that the emergency responders can get the information they need and know where to utilize their resources, it can, they can be most effective. They can go to the trouble spots and get to them and minimize injuries and, and just save things much, much quicker. For most major disasters, it takes two days to assess the damage, and much of it is done through military flybys. But a new Vancouver tech company says this approach misses all the information that's coming from the ground, and they have created software to capture it. The, the idea with the social media is that uh, a pattern develops uh, as soon as an event happens. Uh, we notice that uh, people start tweeting uh, and they're sending pictures of what, has, what is going on. And for the incident commanders, that's extra eyes on the ground to realize, oh, you know, this is the impact of the event. They can respond better to it. What this represents here is the first damage report that would come in at 10 o'clock in the morning. And what it shows is that there is a train that has derailed. Their computer program called SAINT, though new, is getting a lot of attention. It collects satellite weather and industry sensor information, along with emails, text messages, photos, and social media, to create an instant website about a specific disaster for officials to access. Instead of two days, they can have a clear picture of what is going on in about 20 minutes. We can plot uh, damage reports right on the map, and, and that's practically near real time as, this, as the reports come in. And that gives uh, the, the user or the incident commander, the ones that are handling the emergency, uh, a very clear idea of what's going on in almost near real time. According to Saints marketers, the first sign of a tsunami in Japan was a tweet that said, big wave coming. And if you think developing nations are not wireless, think again. They're leading the way because they don't have to invest in costly infrastructure. There are six billion wireless devices in the world that are connected. And uh, the population is only seven billion. So as you can imagine, wireless has made pretty huge global inroads. Oil companies are already interested in the program to gather information about spills. The technology may have helped police during the Vancouver riot. And they say government agencies are just beginning to learn about SAINT. Darlene Heideman, Global News.